Hello, hello, hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to this channel. My name is Shana Benta, and right now we are in the middle of 40 days of 11th hour prayer. Today is October 13th, 2021, and this day is day 36, uh, or maybe 37. <laughs> no, today is definitely day 36. Glory to God. So today we are doing a prayer over prophets. Uh, this uh, was another one on my list for these 40 days. And as we begin to uh, just prepare um, uh, different editing and things that I uh, wanted to have uh, for this post, um, and uh, the Lord just began to speak to me of what he wanted to say. Uh, for this prayer over prophets, and sometimes that happens when I'm doing these prayers, he also gives a prophetic revelation, a prophetic word uh, with these prayers. And one thing that I got uh, was that uh, you shall hear, you shall see, you shall testify, you shall testify. Um, and uh, he began to speak to me about that scripture, about the tongues of fire. Um, and really, you know, because I like saying in like music and he was um, telling me, you know, reminding me of uh, that song, the tongues of fire testifying of the sun and then uh, the spirit come spirit come and i was like okay yeah i know that is in scripture <clears throat> and um it's actually two places one in the old testament and one in the new testament and um, i was actually reading the one from the old testament joel chapter two because i was reading that recently especially that one uh verse in joel i believe it's verse 28 talking about he will restore the years that the locusts have eaten and even with that verse and even that being brought back to mind uh some of you uh may feel um that you've wasted time or maybe uh, uh, time has passed by. Maybe you feel like you're too old um, to uh, begin to walk into the gift or the calling the Lord has for you. Um, and I'm here to tell you that is a lie from the pits of hell. Um, there is actually the scripture. Um, he says that he will restore the years the locusts have eaten. But then also in this uh, Joel chapter two, um, there is a verse I'm looking for it now, um, kind of towards the end of the chapter. Uh, it says, uh, verse 28, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters. They shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. <clears throat> And so God definitely, definitely has something for you to do. He definitely has a purpose to be fulfilled through you on throughout that chapter, verse 29, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids and those days will I pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come and it shall come to pass that whoever whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call glory to God and so that's in Joel Joel's Old Testament prophet okay a powerful uh, prophet in the Old Testament heading over to the New Testament you will see this prophecy being fulfilled okay this is the day of pentecost acts chapter two and i'm going to go ahead and read this um and so starting with verse two with verse one when the day of pentecost had come they were all together in one place and suddenly a sound came from heaven like a rushing violent wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting they appeared to them tongues resembling fire which were being distributed among them and they rested on each one of them, each person received the Holy Spirit and they were all filled. That is diffused throughout their being, okay? Throughout their being, they felt that, the filling of the Holy Ghost with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues, different languages as the Spirit was giving them the ability to speak out clearly and appropriately. Now, um, I do want to say just, you know, as a disclaimer, because I know there are some that uh, may not believe in the spirit of, you know, speaking in tongues or may not understand completely. That is a, you know, it's a, a, 
a long, you know, a whole other uh, teaching. I do encourage you to look that look into that and learn more about it. I may do some talking about it here on this channel. I don't know. Uh, just being led by the Lord. Um, but absolutely. But for those, you know, you understand uh, on with verse uh, five. Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout and God fearing men from every nation. And um, it goes on and they were, you know, perplexed and they were astonished and, you know, looking like, aren't all these people Galileans? Uh, and sometimes it will be like that when you begin to walk in and uh, uh, walk in the calling the Lord has calls, ha, has for you, whether it be a prophet or a dreamer or an evangelist or a pastor, um, uh, whatever it is, it could even be uh, like a lawyer or a doctor, whatever it may be. You may have people that have known you all your life and they're like, well, isn't this person just the same person from, you know, back home or from, you know, back, uh, you know, downtown? Isn't this the same person that we grew up with, the same person that we've known since, you know, they were, you know, such a small child? Who do they think they they are, um, you know, all out here prophesying or whatever it is that you're doing, um, Lord, what have you uh, to be doing. Sometimes that could happen. And I'm here just to encourage you to continue on to do the work the Lord has given you. You shall speak. You shall hear. You shall see. You shall dream. You shall testify okay um again 12 11 revelation 20 12 11 we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony also there is uh first timothy chapter 4 verse 12 for those who may think that you're too young um uh verse uh 12 it says let no man despise thy youth let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example of the believers in word and manner of living in charity and spirit in faith and impurity glory to god and so um yes and so on uh in uh that verse again with that fulfillment of the prophecy from joel chapter 2 in the old testament the old testament prophet there is uh on down in verse 17 of chapter x of acts chapter 2 um the book of acts chapter 2 and um here it is this is uh the third hour of the day Verse 14, but Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judah, all you who live in Jerusalem, let this be explained to you. Listen closely and pay attention to what I have to say. Verse 15, these people are not drunk, as you assume, since it is only the third hour of the day, which was nine o'clock a.m. in their time. Verse 16, but this is the beginning of what was spoken through the prophet Joel. All right. Or Joel, verse 17, and it shall be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see divinely prompted visions and your old men shall dream divinely prompted dreams. Verse 18, even on my bond servants, both men and women, I will in those days pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy and i will bring about wonders in the sky above and signs attesting miracles on the earth below blood and fire and smoking vapor the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of the lord comes verse 21 and it shall be that everyone who calls upon the name of the lord invoking adoring and worshiping the lord jesus shall be saved rescued spiritually they that worship him they must worship him in spirit and in truth glory to god <clears throat> Glory to God. And so I just want to pray over you and just encourage your spirit, encourage your heart, your mind and your soul uh, right now um, to uh, walk in the calling that the Lord has over you and just to pray over prophets, um, those that know it, those that do not know it for uh, both now and in the future. Glory to God. Glory to God. And please excuse my voice. I don't know what happens like when I start wanting to record and start speaking, then just all this um congestion <laughs> this comes up that oh god uh, help me all right so let us go ahead and pray uh thank you jesus thank you heavenly father um for your word thank you god uh for your prophecy through the prophet joel in the old testament and the fulfillment of the prophecy in acts of god and how it's still being fulfilled in and through our lives today 
of God, through your children, through your sons and your daughters. I thank you that your word does not fall to the ground, oh God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that even right now you are encouraging sons and daughters all over the world, old and young, oh Father, uh, to walk in the calling that you have given them, Lord Jesus. I thank you that even now, oh God, they are getting and receiving dreams and visions and words from you, prophetic words, oh God, to uh, prophesy and for the edifying of the body of Christ, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for your outpouring of your spirit, that we are being filled with your Holy Spirit right now, Lord Jesus. Those that know about and those that do not know, God, that they would learn, learn more and more about you, being filled with your Holy Spirit, being filled with your Holy Presence, experiencing such a powerful encounter with who you are, oh God, with your presence, oh God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are able to shout in Zion, oh God, declaring the victory, oh God, over the enemy, oh God. God, that we have a, a word, a, your word that has the final say, oh God, no matter what the enemy tries to throw at us, oh God, that we can overcome that with the word just as you did after uh, your 40 days of fast, during your 40 days of fast, oh God, and you were able to uh, resist the enemy. Your word says that we are able to resist the devil and he will flee from us, oh God. He came and he tempted you on the mountain, on the pinnacle of the mountain, the very top part of the pinnacle. Uh, a very p top part of the mountain with these uh, temptations, childish temptations, oh God, but it was during your fast and you were able to resist him, plead the blood of Jesus, you were able to uh, come back up against him uh, with the word of God, with the prophecies and saying, it is written, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone. And it is written all of these things that you were able to uh, uh, counter whatever uh, Satan was tempting you with, Father. I think you that we're able to counter uh, what uh, the temptations and uh, the obstacles that we may face, oh Lord Jesus, with your word and being able to stand on your word, oh God, that you are the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and that on Christ the solid rock we stand. You being the word, you being Christ, we're able to stand on you such a firm foundation, a firm foundation, having our feet planted in your word, Lord Jesus, that we're able to walk out your word, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have given us these gifts. So God, help us uh, to use and shepherd these gifts according to your will for your glory, oh God, for you to be glorified, oh God, for you to get all the praise, all of the honor, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, that we will continue to call on your name and we will be saved, Lord Jesus. Thank you now for the dreams, oh God, for the visions, oh God, for the prophecies, oh God, that bring encouragement, that bring clarity, oh God, that bring, uh, allowing us to grow even more in our faith in you, Lord Jesus, as we connect with others, oh God. Lord Jesus, we just thank you now. We thank you now, Lord Jesus. Um, I just pray uh, just even more uh, fire and just anointing to be able to fall over your prophets right now, all over the world, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And again, uh, those scriptures were, it was Joel chapter 2, Old Testament, Acts chapter 2, New Testament. And then there was, um, let no man despise your youth, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Amen. Glory to God.